these niggas like I'm cash money bullets And they just free young hard, you know we turned up in the hood DA wanted death row, had me feeling like I'm shook Ten bands got me free, ten more got me feeling good huh. Like I'm in D.C. or something Riding with three hoes like I'm T.C. or something We just shooting for the stars, I'm the captain of the enterprise I've been going up in sometimes Stay on my grind, I won't stop till I win And I see things change Still I keep my head up high My gun by my side, yeah I made a few mistakes but I strive Still here, I don't know how I survive I'm going hard till the day that I die Can you send me a blessing? What up, though? This your boy, D.O.C., and I got a very special guest on the line. If you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and where you're from. Santa Doc, Santa, y'all. My name is I.B.O.Y.A. from Richmond, California, part Chester Village, to be exact. Santa. If you if if you was able to rewind, like, rewind back to that time, and, and just to put it out there for people, you know, you said everything that transpired during that time, you already paid your debt to society and all that stuff about that, right? Definitely did that, Sam. Yeah. Definitely paid my my, my dues. All right, so if you could rewind back to that time and take us through that process of, like, what made you even go over there that day? All right, so it was some situations, some shit. You know, some money shit, as it, as it then there always is. Some, some shit went bad with some money shit, you know what I mean? And we ended up over there, you know, uh, Y'all just y'all just randomly picked that house? Nah, nah, nah. It's oh, a situation between dang. You know oh, what okay. Mean? You know what I mean? Some, some some street shit with some money shit. Just so you know, end up you know end up going to where cuz live at. You know what I mean? And I I I, I wasn't in there, so I can't really you know get the side of everything that happened inside the house. But I was outside. But um, some went bad in there. They they going at it or whatever. You know what I mean? And all I know is I, I hear hella, I hear the window breaking, I hear hella, you know what I mean? I hear hella police coming, right? Mm. So, as I'm hearing police come, I'm like, you can only imagine that. I'm like, okay, my partner's in here, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know these police coming. I know it's, I know, you know what I mean, motherfuckers got guns and all the shit, right? Right. And a lot of niggas probably would have got up out of there, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? I, hey, to my bro, so I, I slid up to the door. I mean, got the door open and uh and got my got my partners up out of it. Got my partners up out of the situation, you know what I mean? But the shit started on some personal some personal money shit. That's what it was all over. You know what I mean? And you know, people that's that's in this shit know know what it was, you know what I mean? So it was it true that, that it was it was true that he owed you guys some money? It was a situation okay. where of us got over on some shit, you know what I mean? So right. it wasn't like though so just no random. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So so that situation happened, right? And you know, I, bam, I, I'm in the car, I get my bros out of there, whatever. The drive and the police get on me. You know what I mean? So I do what anybody do. I'm, I'm taking them on, right? Yeah. They uh they end up they end up catching me. We get on foot or whatever, run, whatever, they end up catching me. So if anybody, you know, been you know, locked up on some shit. They got to have the people come down there, you know, and identify you first before they even, you know what I mean, put you in the cop. So I don't know who came, but I know they, they had me cut whoever came and said, oh, yeah, that's them, you know? <laughs> Fast forward, I'm in, I'm in there, you know what I mean? We in the, uh, the holding cell, whatever, the police come, and they ask me questions now, you know? And if anybody could get the access to the paperwork, they'll see it with one word on my, on my statement. And that one word was lawyer. That was it, period. Yeah. So, you know, after that, they, uh, we, I, I contacted some people that ended up knowing, knowing that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this on some, just on some man, handle this shit, you know, handle this shit, how, how gangsters supposed to handle it, you know what I mean? Like, don't throw me to these people, though, you know what I mean? So, they holler at him, he like, all right, it's good, I ain't, I ain't finna do that, I ain't finna, whatever. So, I instantly tell her, Tell her to me, like, hey, let's speed this trial up. Let's speed this up. You know what I mean? Like, let's get this over. You know what I mean? Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's all good. Like, don't be it. whatever we handle, if we can get over it, we can get over it, whatever. You know what I mean? We just don't handle it the right way. We end up going to trial. They, uh, they call, dang, bang, they call the 
other dude that was in there, and they call his girlfriend at the time Maybach. It's the nickname I know her as. Mm. Maybach, Maybach kept it solid. She got on the stand. They asked her what, what they asked her. She like, I don't remember no faces. Whoa, you know what I mean? Kept it gangster. I, and, and and while we here, if she is listening, I just want to say I apologize to her. You know what I mean? Because a lot of us, me and Cuz talk. Me and Cuz talk. You know what I mean on the phone. And when I when I just I just now heard the interview. We were sitting in the interview. Some of that shit went true. You feel me? Like they made it seem like I called Cuz and and was apologizing, just all this weird shit. You know what I mean? And that ain't what happened. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, when I talked to him, when he got he got on the stand, he did what he did. You know what I mean? He pointed he pointed me out, pointed me and my brother. Out, you know what I mean? But when I came home, I never I never dared him out. I never, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I felt like you know, like I said, I was transitioning to who I am right now, and I felt like I was wrong, bro. Like. At the end of the day, and I told him that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, and one, one thing about me, Doc, is I don't give a fuck about what nobody got to say. Like, I'm going to stand on what I stand on, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to be the type of person that's going to apologize in private, you know what I mean? And then in public be some other type of way, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's how I feel, cuz, but I feel like if we came, if we came to this shit and be like, bro, man, a man, bro, like, whoop, whoop, like, he came and he told me, he said, bro, you solid, because... The only reason I got in contact with him is because of the shit that, that got aired out. You know what I mean? You know, it just got, it started getting talked about or whatever. You know what I mean? So I just have him because, because he said, you know what I mean? You know, he said what he said. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we talked. We talked. I'm thinking like, okay. So when I hear the interviews and shit, I'm just like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and shed, shed some light on this shit and just come for real. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, he, he got on the stand. You know he got on the stand. You know what I mean? I told him, bro, I forgive you for that, bro. I'm not tripping off that. You know what I mean? Right. Bro, as long as you can forgive me for, for doing that. At the end of the day, bro, we all black men coming up out the struggle, bro. And, and, and shit could be handled a, diff, a different way. And that's what, when I talked to you, I told you, Doc, I appreciate you having this platform. Right. For a motherfucker to be able to come on here and, and have this dialogue. You know what I mean? And have some type of option of solving it some type of other way because there's other dudes out there that that's in the same position that I was in, Dan was in, filthy, all the shit. And something somebody gotta lead by example, you feel me? Right. So at the end of the day, that's why I'm on here. To tell you, yeah, that that paperwork was real. All that shit is real because I'm I'm the dude that was in that situation. You know what I mean? And 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 this is where we at with it now. You know what I mean? Right. What what ended up making you like when it first started coming to like you maybe within the past year or so, I guess you talking about like when the song started coming out, what you yeah. what made you and you ended up reaching out to Filthy to, to take him to paperwork? I reached no, this is what happened. I reached out to Filthy. Um uh, I heard the song. Somebody one of one of my partners ended up sending me the song like, bro, this nigga talking about child, bro, woo, woo. You know what I mean? So I heard the song. The song was fire, like Regardless of the situation, to me, I just like the song, period. I like the hook. I like the beat. I'm like, oh, this go crazy. So me, I tapped in with Filthy just on some, I respected the fact that the nigga, the nigga put that story, like, you know what I mean? Said some real shit, like, because niggas was acting like it was, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the fact that he's from over there, and the fact that he's he's a pioneer in this bay and doing a lot for, for this bay area, you know what I mean? I, I feel like, oh, shit, let me tap you on, bro, and just be like, bro, I respect that, you know what I mean? So that's how he even knew who I was on the situation, you know what I mean? Because he didn't even know who I was, as, you know what I mean? Personally, we never met enough. Right. So after that happened, I guess him and bro was going at it, you know what I mean? And so the information had got out, I don't know how, maybe social media or whatever, and that's what made me um, made me tap in with Dane. You know what I mean? But it was as far as with filthy, like I just heard the song, hit him on Instagram, I was like, bro, that shit raw, bro. I'm the nigga that been that in that situation, bro. I just wanna say bro much respect, bro. Like I I fuck with the song, you know what I mean? Right. And, and so as far as the pay shit happened, uh, I'ma just be real with you, cause I am from Richmond, cuz like, you know what I mean? Like they they oh, you know what I mean? They 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 had their own situation going on. So I can't really speak on that, you know what I mean? They as far as how I was looking at it, these dudes been on each other forever. They can be cool the next day. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I felt like with me, when they had hit me on the shit, how I was thinking about it, I'm like, bro, I'm not, ain't nothing for free. You know what I mean? That's how I felt at the time. 
Like, nah, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't none of this shit for free. Like, I don't even know Cutter. I know of him, but I don't know him personally. Right. So that's why, that's how it came on at the gate. But what's so crazy is we know a lot of people that I know as far as outside of me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they got involved and brought us together on some, like, you know what I mean? And said some real shit to me. Like, and that's one, that's another thing, bro. Like, I'm still learning as a man. You feel me? That was my pride in a way. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, you feel me? Yeah. So, so after Holland and just and just respecting the situation, uh, respecting how this shit go, this shit I'm not bigger than this street shit. I'm not bigger than this political shit. Like I'm not bigger than none of that. Like I'm just another man trying to survive. So at the end of the day, man, for nigga telling, like you got to put that out there, bro. That's just what niggas. That's just what it is. And that's how my partners, my OG, has got at me about it. Like bro, come on, bro. Like we know how you is. We know you, but nigga, that ain't like that. But bro, you feel me? So that's what made me holler at cuz. I just do it. To like, huh, bro? Like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here you go. This 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 the situation. You know what I mean? That that you know what I mean? That solidified. And, and at the end of the day, like I feel overall that 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 it's just unfortunate overall. Yeah. It's the overall situation. You know what I mean? Because when I look at Silk Rich and I look at what he's doing for the community, all the positive positive shit he's doing, how can you not get along with somebody like that? You know what I mean? How can you not support somebody that's really about the community that's showing results? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And from what I heard from with Dane, I heard Dane help this lot of people out too. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just a fucked up situation overall. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that's the best thing I could really you know what I mean, that's the most honest I could be about it. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean? If if you could, you know, go back to that time, like whatever the money situation was that happened that made you guys go over there, would you change any of that if you had the opportunity to? And try to work and try to work it out another way, or was it really just to that point that was the only way to try to get the get the bread? No, that's a good ass question. That's a good question. And sometimes, like sometimes, I don't. I'm not sure because I've been in situations like when I came home and I was trying to be on some super nice shit. Niggas, niggas tried to walk over that. You feel me? Mm. And I had to, I had to go back to that to show niggas like, bro, like I'm doing, I'm choosing to be. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes, like, it's, I think that's what it's about is knowing when the right time to move like that. And I'm just not sure. I'm not sure, like, how, you know what I mean? I, I'm just really not sure, bro. I Do I regret it? Do I regret it? Yeah. Do I regret even being that type of person? Yeah. You know what I mean? But do I feel like that was necessary at that time for the situation? Like, I'm not too sure. Like, I, I'm really 50-50 on that. You know what I mean? Right. But I feel like as just as an individual who I am today, like what I would teach my son. Mm. Like if my son came home to me or I found out my son was robbing niggas and doing this shit, bro, I would, you know what I mean? I would let him know, like, bro, you ain't solid for that, my nigga. Like, you know what I mean? You take it from your community. You take it from the next man. Same struggle as you, bro. You feel me? Right. That's just how I feel. And I and I really don't care how nobody else feel about it. That's me on enough as a man and saying, hey, this hot, this is what I believe in. If there's any youngster out there that was doing what I was doing at 12, 13, five niggas coming up, doing all this shit, I hope they can hear this and just know, like, everybody don't think the same, bro. You know what I mean? Everybody ain't got to go the same route, but you can do what you do. You know what I mean? Do what's in your heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. Did you did you choose that path at that age, you know, just because you've seen, like, other, people's doing, other people, you know, doing it, or was it, like, more peer pressure? Or you just kind of just jumped off the porch like this wild and said, fuck it. I ain't going to lie, Doc. Part of me, I was a little badass kid. Mine, I'm just going to keep it real. <laughs> part of it, I was just a little badass nigga. Yeah. And, and, and the other part of it was I did see some things. You know what I mean? It's hard to, like, it's hard when your mom's saying, like, okay, I'm going to church, son. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, and just do this, do this. And, and we start. You know what I mean? It's hard. When you go outside, you see your niggas out there doing shit and they actually they got these these shoes, they got this and that, and they doing other shit. I I always been a person of results since I was a little kid. So when I'm seeing the results, I'm like, man, my mom hear you, but I'm finna rock this way because I'm seeing these niggas get shit. You know what I mean? Right. So that's what it was more of my decision, but I did kind of, you know, like I kind of did see other shit to get influenced. You know what I mean? But nobody ever forced me. Nobody ever like talked me into nothing. Like me, actually, me and my me and my boy, we was actually leaders of the shit mm -hmm. that we was doing. So I can't really, you know what I mean? I can't really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel you. But, but I do, I do regret all of that shit. You know what I mean? That's one thing I could really say because it's just not. I mean, it ain't solid, bro. Like at the end of the day, it's just not. Yeah, and that type of messaging is in your music. Facts, it's in my music. That you, none of my music, you'll hear me saying. I slid on a nigga, not to take that from nobody, you know what I'm saying, because niggas probably really doing that, and I ain't, you know what I mean, but I'm saying, you're not going to hear none of that in my music, you might hear me say, I seen one of my niggas with a big wool whoop, and it was ugly outside, something like that, I might have a descriptive story about, you know what I mean, about a setting, but you never just going to hear me glorifying and saying like, you know what I mean, because I don't believe in that. Right. If I did, then I'd do that. You feel know what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to sit here and, and, and this guy, nobody, if I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to slide on nobody, not unless it's over my family or something. Right. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not, you feel me? So why would I sit here and put that out there and have everybody else thinking that, that really rock with me, thinking that's what, that's it. You know what I'm talking about? 